Hello, this is Matthew Campagna from TheTurningGate.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create menus in TTG web galleries using image files as buttons. Now, as you can see here, I've gone ahead and created a couple of really cheesy buttons uh, that I'm going to stick into a web gallery. Um, I've made these as PNG files so that I have transparent backgrounds. That way they'll mesh nicely with whatever I do in Lightroom uh, making my gallery. So the first thing we want to do is move these files to a location where Lightroom can use them. To do that, I'm going to open up my web galleries folder and I'm going to find the web engine uh, into which I'd like to install these. For this demonstration, I'm going to use TTG High Slide Gallery Pro, although you can use any gallery uh, with this technique. On Windows, to open this up is just a folder you dive right in. On a Mac, you need to right click the web engine choose show package contents and that will open it up in a folder of its own. Um, once we're in here we're going to go into resources and then the images folder and I'm going to move my button images into that images folder. Now with that done Lightroom will be able to see them and therefore use them so I'm going to go ahead and launch Lightroom And I've already set up my gallery ahead of time, so it's just going to bring it right up for us to start working with. Um, as you can see, I've got my menu bar. Currently it is empty. And normally what I would do if I just wanted to use a text link is I would come down and I would fill in uh, the text that I want the link to have and give it an address to go to. Um, you can see here it says contact now. Uh, Setting the link is going to work just as it normally would. You just put the address uh, where you want things to go into that field. Um, to get the image in there, though, what we're going to do, instead of entering text, is we're actually going to enter HTML for an image. So that's open bracket IMG source SRC equals. And we put those in resources slash images and then the file that we want to use is contact.png. So I'm going to go ahead and put that code in, hit enter. You can see that it just put code up here. Uh, that's not a problem. All we do is reset the or reload the gallery. Uh, you can use Command R to do that, Control R on Windows, or just go up here to the web menu and hit reload. Um, as you can see, it's put my image file in there as a clickable button for the menu. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, you just stick it right in there. You can do that for any of the menu items, one through five. Um, the other thing that you can do is use the custom menu items input field. And you can input an entire string of HTML with your hyperlinks and image files um, to put in as many items as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that with the last two images. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put in the hyperlink. So this one's going to be for my home button, so I'm going to set this one to go to the turninggate.net, which is my home. Um, and then put in the image file, same as the last one, so source equals resources, images, and then the name of the file was home.png. Close my image tag, close my hyperlink, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in the next one which is for galleries, so I would set an address and then again the image tag source equals resources images galleries.png close that, close my hyperlink and hit return. And now you can see I have three menu buttons. Um, if you find that you don't like the way that the, the items are fitting, you can come up here to the menu settings and you can just adjust the menu item spacing, padding on the top or bottom, and basically just, just mess with the dimensions of, uh, of your menu bar until you get something that you like to look at. I want to bring this in a little more, a little less. Now these buttons are, are a little large. I made them over big so that you'd be able to see them clearly in this video. Um, probably not the way I would make them for real. But you get the idea. That's how it's done. Um, this is kind of a secret technique that may not be immediately obvious when you're using the gallery, but as you can see, it's very possible. 
and really opens up your options so that you can um, jazz up your galleries, make them a little more distinct, uh, a little more you. So have fun putting your galleries together and uh, come back to the Turning Gate real soon for more tutorials.